Doon kayo ang nagsanap ng iba. And then all of my notes cannot be found anymore. All my USBs cannot be played anymore. Grabe kang pat, no? Mas maris at iso. But, naman dyan po yung ibalibaran kasi yung cardboard. So I tried to, I tried to recall some of the beautiful things that happened to us when we were young. Mga beautiful things. And one of the beautiful things that happened when we were younger, ako lang yung balik-balipo ng when we were younger, <laughs> was the chance of uh, being a participant to a training on unpacking of competencies. So to, during our time, it was a difficult task. It was so difficult that, yung like kung ngurap, it naman siguro ko pa kapalik ko po na ako na ako sa mundo. But this time, it is quite easier. Sa'yo na lang siya. Because this is not anymore uh, new to everybody. Especially those who were with me. Pero ano naman kung kabarj din din, no? Hindi kong tanaw, tanaw. Kami naman let patan mo ni Ito Parte. How many of you were here in the 90s? It's a may nakadip-ed na in the 90s. Ulo, no? 90s, so 92. Today, we've been talking about standards. Nila na standard electric fan. Standards. Then, objective two, demonstrate understanding on the process of unpacking the competencies by having a list of unpacked competencies by grade, by component. I was asked last night, will there, will there be assignments tomorrow? I do not know. Kung kanil list of unpacked competencies by grade or by component will be done by us here or it could be an assignment forever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, it will be an assignment not today, but it will be an assignment forever. Then, very importantly, share significant insight on the processes of unpacking the competencies. So, we will not only be talking about our learnings by the head, but we have also to consider what we have learned by heart. So that is why we are going to give our insights. Gamay ng objectives, di ba? They are very workable. According to Ma'am Inkor Katina, Sister, Dili ko lang kayo magdali, ano? So ako yun siyang tumano, maghinay-hinay rin. Nanong kinahanglan din magdali? Because this is something that we will be talking from. We will be talking about these things using the head and the heart. Ito yun din, isa-isa. Ang mga istorya-istorya ka, rin nga ito. Pero saan ka nag-istorya-istorya pa, if you really need to take note, you can. But I could share the slides with you later also, for you to review. You we could, we could share with you the resource materials later para hindi mo sige nga basa-basa picture-picture. Okay lang, huwag ako yung picturean. Mapin yung pagpunan. Ay, mapin, mapukulo. Nata, yung picturean na rin yung mapin lang po, no? Siguro ko lang, hindi mo nagroon yun. Hindi picture dito, yung kanila, yun. Sige. And, if you have questions, if you have questions, but now, but while we are having our discussion or while we are having our time uh, together, you write your question. Any question that pops up, you write it first, and then we'll discuss it later. Para dili siya, yung para dili kita ay pagkalaman, okay? All right. Unpacking. So what is it? What is unpacking? Ano ba naman unpack? Yes, ma'am? To remove? To open the clothes? O, siyempre, magpapain pa. Pag-ingan lang mo, ginagin na, no? To chap-chap. Yes? To chap-chap. O, to chap-chap. O, siyempre, shopping. Ano yun? Chap, then chap. To remove? To open? To chap? What else? To unload? To himay-himay? To eradicate. Third? To eradicate, ma'am. To eradicate. To eradicate, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Sixth? 
Still later. Later siguro. We eradicate later. After coming, we eradicate. Good morning, Sir Brian. We have our science supervisor that will talk. My idol, Sir Brian. Right? Our idol. Our idol. I hope I am dreaming of him becoming the superintendent of Surigada. Soon. That will happen soon. May na makadawag mo na. Ano, hindi na mamati nga. Correct. Sige. So, remove, open, analyze, chum-chum, himay-himay, and then there is even eradicate later. Oh, yeah? Humanog-an ka, i-eradicate na na. Oo, humanog-an ka, i-eradicate. Pag Pasko, pag Pasko, there are gifts. What is, what will you do with the gift? Uncover. You open, you unwrap, before you unpack, before you wait. So, daghan siya nga, daghan siya nga third. Ayaw lang, ayaw lang, just be honest. Yes. Ay, kuno, tinipan ka, no? Yes. Na-stress na ga yun? Oo. Oo na, kada kabalo mo ko, kami rin mo stress na daan. I told you earlier to relax. Relax. You have to unpack your hearts. You have to unpack the feelings inside your heart. Right? So, what comes to your mind about unpacking of competence? Kanina, meron akong narinig na sub... Sub-tasking. We're sub-tasking, yes? Saan tayo may kusun? Hindi ko na. 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 Hindi ko It has its qualifier. It has to be student friendly. Sige na lang na student friendly, na teacher friendly. If it has to be a student friendly, then it is teacher friendly. Listen po, dog maghiko mo. Kung something friendly to others, not friendly to you. Okay, mga picture na friendly, right? And then it has to be used well. In classroom lesson. So meaning, a teacher cannot directly make a lesson plan without the process of unpacking first the competencies. Nakuha na ito siya? Ito, mahimay-himay na ito. So, breaking the standards from goals to student-friendly objectives to be used in classroom Lesson. So, you cannot just use lessons in the classroom without planning. And you cannot just plan, you cannot just make your lesson plans with a whim of yours, but it has to be a composed of a student-friendly objectives. Okay? So, what's up with the learning competencies we have here? Okay. The, the breaking down of the standards, so we see the standards and the competencies, right? So, learning competencies, para mag-con ito, kung saan si learning competencies? Learning competencies are the main ideas or skills you expect students to master. So, that is the competency. Maunay nakabutang sa email. Maunay nakabutang sa CG. The main ideas or skills that you expect your students to master. These are skill standards that specify the level of PSAs, the knowledge, the skills and attitudes required for success as well as potential measurement criteria for assessing competency attainment. Now, the unpacking of competencies do not stop into the unpacking only of competencies or translating the competencies to objectives, but it has to connect to the formulation of activities and it has to end up with 
a specific and appropriate assessment. They will go hand in hand. The competencies broken into objectives, objectives translated into activities, and then uh, ended up into assessment. So those are so learning competencies. Nakuha na to kung sa si learning competencies. So siya ang pinaka tibuko, the main idea and or skills. Now, learning objectives describe what the learner should be able to achieve at the end of a learning period. So, that is objective. So, si competency, na kinatibukan siya na dapat ma-master ni learner. Siya yung pinakabuo. Ang kabuoan ng dapat natutunan ni learner. But objective is the what the learner should be able to achieve specifically at the end of a learning period. Learning objectives should be specific, measurable statements, and written and behavioral, behavioral terms. Dapat naka ESA siya. But ESA naman daan ng atong mga kuan. Actually, as we were conversing kanina with Sir Elmi, with Sir Pamento, I told them, Actually, our teachers are doing already the unpacking. Nag-unpack naman yan sila when you make their lesson plans. Only that wala lang siguro masyado pa understanding of the process. Kaya medyo madunga siya. Okay? It is really not an easy thing to be a teacher. Do you agree with me? Yes, ma'am. But it is beautiful to be a teacher. Hala, hindi sila matubag na eh. <laughs> Is it a beautiful life being a teacher? Yes. Yes. Kailangan yes. Kailangan ganun ang spirit. Kaya kung may beautiful life ang teaching. Okay, matumbag. Kung saan ko nalang ato, ano yung pag-unpack? Alright. It is a beautiful life. Especially when you are a grade one teacher. Sino mga grade one teachers dito? Sa una nga mga po. The most rewarding years of my teaching career was the years when I was handling grade one. That was the, that, those were, or shall we say, the grade one period of mine was the most rewarding years of my career. Being a supervisor, being a principal, being a supervisor later is only a bonus. It's only a bonus. But what is being rewarding is the fulfillment of being a classroom teacher. 